So today Dominion was officially removed from the League of Legends. The game mode that was made in September 2011 and was here for over 4 years. So I wanna tell you a few, few of my thoughts about the Dominion overall. So at first when Dominion was released I've been playing this the League of Legends game for over one and a half years. So I had some experience about League and then the Dominion came up. So many people were excited, people had like a lot of fun playing Dominion and it seemed like the game mode would do pretty well. But then as we all know that people didn't really play too much of a Dominion and throughout these four years I've had like 100 normal games in Dominion so it isn't too much. But in my opinion the mode wasn't bad at all. Well, some of the people say, but Van Deril, the Dominion was so unbalanced. Well, it's hard to disagree with this one, although we can also say the same about the Ultra Rapid Fire mode. So, in 2015 when they released the Earth, they actually nerfed some champions. So, like for example, the Soraka heals, cooldowns were like longer, you couldn't play so many Maokai sappings and stuff. So, if they were able to do this to the mode that was here for two, two, basically around two weeks for the year, why wouldn't they do it for a mode that was here throughout the entire year, which is like 52 weeks, right? So, in my opinion, like, people say, like, Ramos was so OP, or Heimerdinger was so OP, Sheiko, Timo, and others. Why don't you just, like, change them for this particular game mode? Like, they were able to do it for a temporary game mode for Earth, why wouldn't they do it for the Dominion? That's the thing that confused me, but it, I really felt like the Riot Games didn't care about Dominion too much. Like, they mostly care about the Summoner's Rift, the twist and tr Twisted Tree Line and the Dominion are like, somewhere on the side. And I'm, I'm afraid that maybe some other day the Twisted Tree Line will also be removed. Well, you may be wondering why do I say that? Well, some of you, some of the older players probably know that back in the time, the Summoner's Rift, the old Summoner's Rift, for example, had like different, different looks of the map. So during the Christmas time, we had the winter map, around the Halloween, we had the Halloween map. So it added some form of versatility to the game. And we also had Dominion at this time. And what do we have now? We don't have the winter mode, we don't have the Halloween map, we also don't have Dominion. So Riot is basically like doing, like removing more things and focusing more on just a normal Summoner's Rift. But to me personally, like just different look of the map, like that winter in the Summoner's Rift, it was just super great. Like you play the map for like entire year and you finally get a chance, you finally can play like a little bit different. Like little change, but actually it made like Wow, it's like a, a little bit different game, it's actually enjoyable, this looks different and that was really cool and for now what they do is just like basically like changing the way minions look and that's it. So to me personally that's that's really disappointing from the Riot, Riot side. So they removed the Dominion, they removed the uh, other looks for the map, they aren't working on that and some people will probably also say but we had like less FPS on these maps. No, it's not true. Actually, the winter map or Halloween maps had like similar FPS to the normal one. No one was even complaining about it. So that's that's the thing that's like for me disappointing about the Riot that they, they basically just focus on this one map and they didn't care about the other ones. And wh why is it this sad for me in the Dominion case? Well, to me personally, Dominion was probably the best looking map. Like. They had, it, it was just visually looking amazing, they put like a lot, a lot of details into this one. And basically that just became a wasted potential, right? And also, the thing I wanna touch is the custom, the custom games that were played on the, some, on the Crystal Scar, which is the Dominion map. So, most of you probably know the, <coughs> the mode called the Hide and Seek, so people were like, being the hiders and seekers, running around the map, having a lot of fun. That's probably the mode that most of you know that uh, you can like do in custom modes. So most of the new players probably don't know that back in the time we didn't even have the ARAM map. 
so people that wanted to play things like all random all mid were forced to play a summoner's rift game. So basically 10 people got into the game, they picked some random champions, I mean they got them, they got into the game and they were just going to the mid lane and fi fighting around it. But well, as, as you know that was really problematic because if you had like one troll he would have just messed that a lot. But why am I mentioning it when I'm talking about Dominion? So there was actually a really popular for a, for a moment mode that was called Arab. So people queued in the um, make, were making the custom games in the Dominion map, and the game mode, as I said, was called Arab, which is all random, all bottom. So basically, one team was capturing one one shrine, and the other was capturing the other one, and it was all in the southern part of the Dominion map. So it was basically fighting between these two of these and then the team that was doing better they were able to capture the other one and that's basically how it went. Why it was really enjoyable? Well the Dominion game overall are really like fast paced and in this era of games it was like non-stop action, non-stop kills, like way more kills and action than in the era mode we have now. But for now you won't even be able to make this map anymore. And that's pretty sad, I, like, I remember playing the Arab with my friends, it was such a good, I had such a good time playing with them, just having so much fun, didn't care like, about anything, but for now we, we lost Dominion, to, we lost Dominion, we won't be able to play Hide and Seek, we won't be able to play Arab, but they said we will probably make something for the Dominion, so we removed the Dominion, but we will make something for its place. Well, I'm sorry but I don't really believe it. Being re realistic in the way Riot games work, I'm not expecting them to do something, I'm not saying it's impossible, but realistically looking, I don't expect they will actually make something for the place that Dominion was removed. Well, you may be wondering, why do I think that? Well, do I have to remind some, some things like, uh, what was it, sandbox mode? Oh wait. Replay system? Why? Like, what are these? Or not even touching the thing that Magma Chamber was, like, was a project that was a total failure, so... Well, that's that's pretty sad from their side. So they basically, like, removing em everything and we don't really get much in exchange. I'm not even touching the fact that the Ancient Ancestor mode, that was uh, the Dominion special mode, how would you even make that? Like, it was a uh, temporary game mode, but would it even happen anymore? If they remove the game? I'm afraid it won't, so it's another loss on our side. Well, that's pretty sad for me. I, I really think that Dominion had a great potential to become a really, really good, good game. Really, really good game mode. But the Riot, in my opinion, basically screwed it up. Like... They didn't put enough work into it, it had a really great potential, but they just basically wasted it. So if I have to say something about the removing of Dominion, I would say it's basically the wasting potential. In my opinion, this mode really had the potential to be better, but they didn't, didn't, didn't really care about it. So they would probably spend more time working on Summoner's Rift and Twisted Treeline, I guess, right now, so maybe we can actually get something in exchange for this mode, but it doesn't change the fact that the Dominion is removed. And that's to me a pretty sad end of the story.